there is literally no one out tonight. It feels like I live in a ghost town. You know, this is something you wouldn't get even back in Hopkinsville. Now, Hopkinsville, Kentucky was a town of maybe 30, 31 K people, which coming from where I came from was pretty big. Like, now I, I was used to rural Tennessee back in Indian Mound, Stewart County. Um, I think the county was made up of about a thousand people in total. The part that I was in, far, far less, and those couple hundred were, you know, very spread out from one another. I lived in the woods. Um, I live in a, in a place of comparable size these days, and yet at nighttime it's so much more empty here. And yet, as well, it's so much more developed than where I was coming from. You know, I've talked endlessly by now in the couple videos I've made since coming to Wyoming about the quality of the sidewalks, the quality of the roads, how walkable it is here, um, and, and how modern the technology that comes with that is, um, how much I like the weather, you know, general urban planning stuff as well as like culture stuff. Um, but it, it's all the more shocking when you, these lights are just endlessly blinking down here, okay. Um, it's all the more shocking when you consider that, um, the, the town is like a ghost town once you start going out at night. Like, you go out and there's literally no one out here. Like, I'm the only one out here. I might see one, maybe two cars, not with each other, of course, just passing through. Um, and I, I couldn't feel more safe, to be quite honest with you. Like, in Hopkinsville, no matter what time of day it was, something would be happening. It's not like things were opened the way that it would be in, like, a big city. But, you know, somebody would be shooting somebody, somebody would be shooting up, something like that. And there'd be a problem. And it wouldn't be wise to go out at night because of that. But here, there, there's nothing of the sort, really. It's just sort of peaceful. Maybe I'll end up eating those words. Maybe I'll end up wrong. Who knows? But as of now, we chillin', we outside, um, and it's a ghost town here. You know, part of the reason why I can even come out here being as neurotic of a person as I am uh, is because I've wanted to kill myself quite a lot since coming here, and really since before coming here. Um, not a day goes by that I wake up and I don't want to kill myself. Um, I just sort of don't yet. And that's a tough internal dynamic to be living with, you know, always wanting to kill yourself. Not exactly a fun situation to be in, but what can you do? It's the situation I'm in. This, this place does trip me out a bit. Yeah, I'm getting away from there. I hear movement and then all of a sudden I'm like, fuck, somebody's coming. The social anxiety brain kicks in. Let's walk around here. There's a lot of light. You can't get shot in the light. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Huh. Interesting. Um, part of town smells like stromboli, I swear to God. You walk through here and then you think people are making stromboli. Huh. 
Dude, these are nice apartments though. Like, I'm getting all noited like I'm in an impoverished part of town. This is not an impoverished part of town. No, like, it's like nice cars I'm going by and stuff. But, uh, I still feel that way because it's night out. Always listening, always looking around. Shit's crazy. Shit's kind of fucked. You know, as much as I'd like to kill myself, I wouldn't like to go out like that. You know, over the last couple years, really the last six years, I've been planning out pretty intricately the various ways in which I could go out and how I would go about that. And uh, I think I've got the formula down. It's just a matter of execution, or rather when I execute the formula. Um, not looking good. You know, I'm given this chance by my friend, this chance at a better life, to better myself and to potentially be happy one day. I'm having a great time with this friend and am more positive about life than I, than I have ever been. And yet, there's this ever-present sense that I should just kill myself. That it's really not worth doing any of this. And that I'd be better off in a hole somewhere. What's that about? Huh? You got an answer in the Bible for that? You know, they say work for a living, but what are you living for? I don't know what I'm living for. I don't even know why I'm still here. I don't even know how long I'm still going to be here. You could flip a coin and I could be dead tomorrow. In the ground. I think these videos are, are kind of a cry for help. But what do I need? What do I even need help with? Living? I'm not doing much of that. Oh, I feel like I'm living in an Elliot Smith song. Like... Like, people talk about feeling pleasure and I don't even know what they're talking about. I think they're lying to me. i felt that way since I was a kid. You know, every time, every single time I would see someone talk about experiencing pleasure or being happy, I would think they're lying to me. These guys are fucking noiding, or fucking tweaking me out. Two of the same cars drive up the opposite sides of the same street. It feels like almost like I'm being followed, or like they're watching me. I'm being watched. Is it some kind of neighborhood watch? They think I'm a suspicious character? Me and my skull mask? I don't know. I don't know if this is, this looks like an apartment complex I've landed at. I don't know if this is private property or not. Looks like I'm at an apartment complex. Arkansas? There's an Arkansas license plate? That's, that's unique. Um, but no, like I was saying, pretty difficult uh, to live life and then not just off yourself. Like, I, I literally think people are lying to me when they describe the experience of happiness or pleasure. Like, I, I can't remember back to a time when I hear people saying stuff like that and then wouldn't think that they're exaggerating or lying, you know? What the fuck is that? Dude, this shit's tweaking me out, bro. I'm clearly being followed. 
I walk all the way out here and then get fucking followed. I think it's about time to end the video.